Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play Rogue Legacy. In the last episode, we played as Sir Gan, Sir Wizerl, Sir Fleming, and I think Lady Teresa the Third. I'm not sure. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played. I apologize, first of all, if you can hear my fan in the background. It's 90 degrees in my apartment currently, which is really hot. My air conditioning is dead, and I needed to record videos. So I apologize if the sound of the fan is not uh, relaxing, but in fact infuriating. But it is the only way I can go on in my life without passing out and dying. And I hope most of you don't want me to pass out and die, but if that's not the case, I guess I can understand. Uh, let's see here. We're playing as a miner to start out. Um, let's see, what is this? Yeah, we'll unlock the Lich. Why not? Everyone's telling me to, so I might as well. Masters of Life and Death. The Lich has mammoth potential. Every kill grants the Lich permanent health. What? That's pretty cool. Uh, Royalize your all-powerful Liches and turn them into Lich Kings. What? That's craziness. Yeah, everyone was yelling at me and telling me to go ahead and upgrade. Well, not everyone. A fair amount of people were telling me to upgrade him. So there you go, people who were telling me to upgrade him. You got your wish. And uh, we're balding? Or is that building? I didn't see. I don't pay attention. So yeah, we're playing as the miner, so I guess we're going to get things started out trying to make money, money, make money, money, money. Uh, which is a good thing. Money is important. Uh, the other thing I really want to happen is I really want to upgrade this sword we have. Because we're still rolling with the basic sword, which is a little annoying. Um, of course, playing as the miner, we know where to go for all the treasures. Not a terrible amount, though, so far. But we're going to go ahead and try to get as much as possible. And maybe even go to the Maya. I don't really want to, but I guess we will if we so choose. Oh, wow. That was pretty bad. Hopefully that's, like, the only damage I take for quite a while. I'm also really paranoid about the volume not working out here because I got a wireless headset a while ago. The PlayStation Pulse Elite Beat headset. That's not really what it's called. It's the nice he wireless headset from Sony. Uh, and I use it all the time, but normally when I record stuff, I uh, just plug in a line in, so it's like normal headphones. But now that I'm using it wirelessly, it has its own like audio output. Like, your computer's audio no longer affects the headphones. Instead, I'm trying to think of a way to describe this. So if I turn down the volume on my headset, like, I can't turn down the volume on my computer anymore. I can only turn down the volume on the headset, which is weird, but not that crazy. We're not getting any help. All we're getting is magic, which is kind of annoying me. Since I don't even really like the magic we have right now. Well, the balls is fine. It's not even that it's bad. Oh, if I had another double jump, I could totally make it up there. Should I go up there? No, let's not bother. It doesn't look really anything. Where's our wild as the miner going up there? Ooh, we have a diary, though. The emblems on this castle, or on the castle door, are a clue. I slew the giant beast that matched one of the icons, and I sensed something shift behind the throne room doors. As, in a, as if in a dream, I could see an emblem on the door glowing in my mind's eye. A truly out-of-body experience. At least I know I'm on the right track. But I must hasten my pace, for the king could succumb to his injuries at any moment. But first I must rest. Tomorrow I enter the forest. Alright, so it uh, sounds like he's making pretty good progress. I guess, I mean... We, ooh, Maya. No, we won't go into there now. As much as I'd like to, I'd rather find more treasure. Let's go this way. But as I said once, uh, my main goal as far as treasure goes... I mean, other than getting a bun bunch of money, which... Everyone wants money. Money makes... Who ever heard of a person with money that wasn't happy? It's just impossible. Uh, I really want to find the blueprint for a new sword. And I guess I have blood stuff. So we could... We should do like a lich run. Where we have vampire stuff. Since when you get kills, you get extra health. Well, we might as well go for this treasure chest, right? Oh my god, that threw them everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god, that backfired so much. That was horrible. Okay. I... I know what went wrong there. I should not have thrown my balls everywhere. Alright, let's go ahead and play as a Lich, since we just got them. 
Oh god, I hate colorblind so much in this game. Uh, I don't think we have enough to upgrade anything. Yeah, no. Close, but no cigar. Oh, it's horrible. I hate it so much. I don't think we have enough to do anything. Except maybe one of these? No, now they're all 1400. Ridiculous. Uh, what is it that makes the Lich special again? I don't even remember. Oh, right, right, right. It gives them extra health. There really was no reason. It's kind of appropriate that we're like, I think our character's supposed to be like a zombie. It's kind of appropriate that we're a zombie and it's black and white. It's like a Night of the Living Dead. So it increases max HP. How much damage do we... Okay, we do about as much damage as the other guy. But we start out with a very little HP. So it's kind of really important for us to kill as many enemies as possible. Because I wonder... Because, I mean, obviously you can't start with very much base HP because the Lich would be ridiculously overpowered then. Ah, that was bad. Oh my god. I'm playing like a damn fool. I, I don't know why, like... Ooh, I could do this. I could probably have done that way better, but that's okay. Ooh. I love me some double jump runes. Oh, that was close. Wow, that was really bad. You know, playing this game really reminds me so much of Spelunky, and I really cannot wait for the PC version of that game. Uh, it helps that I know some things about it that I can't discuss right now, but all you really need to know is that you should be really excited about it. I probably already said too much. I hope I haven't said too much. Derek, you, if you're watching this, I'm sorry if I spilled the beans. Well, I didn't, because I didn't really say anything. Anyway, I'm probably going to re redo my uh, Spelunky Let's Play. I'm one... I don't know why I'm talking about this on this. I should talk about this on Isaac. Yeah, you know, never mind. But this, just so you know, this game has kind of inspired me to restart my Spelunky Let's Play, which I know was a series a fair amount of people liked. So we're doing okay from a health standpoint. We should probably go to the forest and get health there as well. But the Lich doesn't do, like, unbelievable damage or anything like that. So, wait, what? Whoa. That was an accident. How many times do I... I don't think I've ever accidentally gone back to the entrance. Whoa. I'm gonna grab that meat. Oh, wait, the meat disappears if it goes off screen, doesn't it? I mean, I guess I'm one-shotting all these guys, which is good enough for now. If we can get, like, just a bunch of health, that would be fantastic. Damn it. This is a really bad area to spike the skeleton. There we go. I should not- well, I- I don't really have- I don't like using this magic that much, so that's why I'm not really using it too much. Lots of Doom Vosses, which I'm cool with because they're easy to kill, and they give me more health. For whatever reason, I don't appear to be one-shotting things anymore, which is very odd. Wow. That was really bad. All for 11 gold. Probably not worth it, right? I always am paranoid that that moves much faster than it really does. That did not help. Oh, I guess that was pretty good. Yeah, that, that was pretty good, actually. I always feel like magic doesn't do it nearly as much as I expect it to. But, you know, it's not that bad. So we're almost at 200 health. Uh, we won't go to the Maya yet. I'd rather get more health for now. Very happy that that was a Doom boss. And that is a teleporter to the bad place. Alright, this is the Forest of Azkaban. Not really, but it's kind of what it looks like, doesn't it? The name. Oh, damn it. We got the Headless Horse here. So yeah, we're gonna just kind of collect some health here. My only concern is that we won't even be- Oh my god! 
that we won't even be able to like recover as much health as we've gotten. Which is a pretty common binding of Isaac problem I have. You get a bunch of health, but you never really get back to full health anyway. Getting a lot of heart containers without ever getting any actual health, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Whoa! This is a crazy room. Got some money here. Do I want to go down there? Yeah, there's a chest down there. I should. I'm just scared. Okay. I was just kind of scared. Ah, oh, damn it. I just scared of what was going to be down there. I mean, I knew the eyeball was down here, but there would have been spikes. I've been in a lot of trouble. Doing fairly well. I, I usually complain when I get black when I get monochrome because I have trouble focusing when there's a different color scheme. But I seem to be doing it right now. I guess that was just a bullshit excuse back when I made it. No, it's I think it's a valid excuse actually. I don't want to get attacked by those dudes. One shotting these guys. I guess they are just basic skeletons, though, even though they shoot arrows upwards. I should really invest in that pogo upgrade where every time. Oh, yay! Even though I'm terrible at this. Oh, uh, this is the axe one. That was pretty bad. But we get 400 gold. That's okay. Eventually, I'll get it. Maybe. Well, pro that one I probably will never understand because I don't use the axe enough to understand the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant. Or whatever. Defeat all enemies? Alright, I'll defeat all the pots. Oh, is this gonna be... Damn it. I hate this room. I think you can only do it if you're smaller, right? Yeah, probably. Oh, well. Doing pretty well on gold. That's good. You know, at the end of the day, as long as you get a decent amount of money, it's a pretty good run. Damn it. Mr. Bones. Can't sword jump on this guy now. Aha! I guess I could. Nope. There we go. Just gotta be a little more patient. I feel like we're not gaining health anymore, which I might be wrong about. No, I don't think we are, actually. Or we're just gaining less. Yeah, we're not getting health anymore. I guess there's a limit. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. Uh, ooh. Yeah! Fuck pots! I thought maybe it might have been someone using pot magic. All right, well, I guess let's go to the Maya... Or, yeah, let's go to the Maya. Oh, that was bad. I mean, we don't have full health, which really sucks. I don't remember where I'm going. I mean, I know where I'm trying to get to. I just don't know what the best way to get there is. There we go. I think it's the... Oh, no, I guess it's not this way. I don't know what the best way to go is. Well, I kind of would also like to find where the boss is. Yeah, so it literally isn't all that good. The fact that there's a limit on how much health you can get really does suck. I mean, granted, I understand that it would completely make this guy overpowered, but I don't know. It's kind of bullshit. It's like, oh, you can gain health until you gain enough health to be as powerful as really any other enemy. Because I believe this is about the base health that the Paladin has? Maybe? I could be wrong. Oh, hey. I found another route to the Maya. That's cool. I kind of expected that to happen, though, to be honest. Ugh. Then again, I guess that is... I, I'm sure the, the Lich with... Uh, that's me. The Lich with blood items is probably good, but I wonder if the limit is is lower than. 
So like if you wear all blood stuff, is the limit more like 280? I don't know. Whoa. Fuck you guys. I'm gonna fight your dad. I bet my dad could beat up your dad. Is that a thing that kids actually said? Like, the kids really say, like, I bet my dad... I mean, I... I think I saw that in... I want to say Rugrats? Damn it. Damn it! I hate that one. Because it just breaks... Oh, what is this? I've never gotten this before. Got the Crow Storm. Awesome. Oh, I'm out of water. Oh, no, I'm not. Pardon me while I uh, take a drink of water. So we got Crow Storm, which takes 40 MP, which is a lot. Um, damn it. I don't want to die like this. All right, let's just use Crow Storm. Whoa! All right, so it summons crows and they go everywhere. Okay, I, I get the gist. Crow Storm! So does that, do I always have that available now? Or only sometimes? Lady Teresa the Fourth. Uh... I don't want to do more. I don't want to do more monochromy, even though it wasn't really bothering me like it usually does. Let's uh, upgrade our equipment load. <laughs> uh, upgrade health, and then upgrade critical chance. Yeah. Oh God, have we done one of a nearsighted guy? I don't know if we have or not. I actually, it's, I don't really think it affects you that much, but I think it looks cool. It's a cool effect. It's a little dizzying for me. And it like kind of throws me off. Like it throws my brain off because I uh, am nearsighted. So like I'm playing the game and I see him like, ugh. You know, my glasses smudged or my contacts messed up. I can't tell the difference. The worst is if, um, I'm lucky I, uh, I have very moist eyes, and I apologize if the word moist bothers you, because it's really weird that a word bothers you, but uh, I have very moist eyeballs, and in that I just mean that I can leave my contacts in for like months and months at a time. Like my most recent pair, I literally kept in my eyes for six months. It just doesn't bother me. Uh, it does get to a point sometimes where it'll bother me, but... It doesn't, and I mean, by bother me, I just mean like my eye will get irritated, something will get caught in between my eye and the contact. So just like normal stuff. And then I have to keep them out for a day or two. But the, uh, sometimes what happens is I leave them in so long, they actually get wrinkled, and there's like a little smudge, like where it gets wrinkled, and I cannot see like, anything. It looks weird. Alright, I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, I don't wanna do that. Oh, don't shit your pants. Two days, 2009. This was the first game we ever made, and back then we used to be called Decade Studio. In it, you must stop a man from pooping himself only on text input. It was originally designed on a bus, and we decided to make it on the weekend. It did pretty well. The game was a swear word, or the game has a swear word in it, and we were thinking about changing the title to be more friendly. But then our balls drew back, and we sucked, sucked our guns. A big part of the game revolved around making a text adventure that allowed people to input whatever they wanted. To solve this, we had to preempt what we thought people would hype. We did this in two days. First, we reduced the amount of options a player had, a man and a door. And secondly, we built an achievement system, which was used to give the player directions. The game revolved around the achievement system so heavily that it was placed into the game over screen progression. That was a small but very critical change. Or vital change, I apologize. I actually am kind of curious. That looks interesting. Or sounds interesting. Sounds like a good game for Jason Smith OTI to stream. Or, uh, it sounds like a good indie impression for, uh, Rockery Smile. There we go. Uh, this will probably be the last run of this recording, just so you guys know. Um, I do apologize once again for the fan in the background. There's literally nothing I can do. Um, but, you know, it's kind of a reminder that the fans are always watching. That sounds kind of creepy, doesn't it? Hey! We 
got jiggles. Hey, must be the money. If you wanna go, we'll take a ride with me. Also, we have the axe. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but I really don't like the axe. I mean, I know I've mentioned that many times, but... Hey, this forest is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It is both serene and terrifying. I stand on lush grass, but beside me yawns and open a chasm so wide and deep it threatens to swallow me whole, giggity. I still have not heard a response from the rock I tossed in earlier. A single misstep and my descent would be eternal. An eternity of darkness is more frightening than any beast I have fought thus far. If I fell, what would kill me first? The hunger or myself? On a side note, I am now using the forest fisher as my own personal lavatory. I wonder if I am pooping into another dimension. <laughs> Ah, poop jokes. These guys are pretty easy to kill, as long as you, uh... I mean, I guess... Ah, fuck. Damn it. I'm gonna die real soon. God, this guy does so much damage, I love it. But we really... Maybe I should use the blood set? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe I should use the blood set with uh, the Hakage J. The Hakage. Someone was trying to tell me how to pronounce it. A lot of people were trying to tell me how to pronounce it. And of course, I don't remember what they said. Oh god, I forgot they could jump. Never girl. Alright, well, unfortunately that didn't end too well for us. But it was an okay video. I mean, we got a new spell. We got the Lich. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Redpan Gamer. Like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and do forget to share love. I'm Redpan Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.